we back. You already know what it do. Just chilling like a villain. Mm -mm -mm. Chilling like a villain. Mm -mm -mm. It's all good. Y'all know who I am. Kind of want orange and orange, orange. Eat this orange. I'm gonna put the camera back right here. See if it's good for y'all. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Let's eat this orange. Let's eat this orange. You should try it. Mm, my guy, you should try it. Orange, amazing. I read y'all comments all the time. You know what? Kingston, you should definitely chase some on YouTube. Little dude got a personality. Shout out to Jason R if you're watching this. I blank with these what does those look. Kingston is a star, ha ha ha. You got a beautiful family, stay up, stay blessed. Lufkin Legends, shout out to you. Two, I enjoy these type of videos. Love to see a player made a Mexican show the importance of a life God bless. Martin Chavez. Y'all are real nice. I gotta tell you that. Y'all are real nice to these lies. I haven't found one hate comment. We'll be back with y'all maybe tomorrow or later today. Finally opened a Michoacana right by our house. We've been waiting on this for a while. Since Hurricane Harvey, huh? I don't know. Maybe they got flooded. They had to rebuild. Oh, it smells so good. I just gave my baby some carnita taco. Homemade cooking, man. How is it? Oh, and somebody commented, we never cook. What are you talking about? Yeah, we do cook all the time. We're making flautas. We're gonna show y'all a tutorial how to make flautas. Tutorial by Chef Kingston. Salute. I'm a chef, I'm a vlogger, I'm all of it. They call me Chef Kingston. They're getting some chocolate as you can see. Hey, 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 stop. Mm -hmm. Bye boy. No, bro. No. All right. Where you going? Nobody going to the bathroom. Y'all recording already? No. We want to say we appreciate all y'all for watching, man, and making our numbers go through the roof already. I just got home from school. Now I know I'm having a field trip Friday. You already know what it do, yo. Oh. So I asked them, my, uh, my mom and my dad if they wanted to come. And they were like, yeah, we'll come. So today I asked my teacher at school. And she was like, okay, yeah. They're going to have to do like a little background check if they want to come. They're going to have to like... And I was like, wait a minute, back one check, right? Wait a minute, okay. And then she was like, yeah, and I was like, okay, I don't know about all that. So then she was like, okay, it was a public place so they could just drive over there. And I was like, oh yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Good morning, YouTube. Y'all wondering what I'm doing up? At 6.50 in the morning, my big head son missed the bus again. And I told his butt last night to give me his cell phone. He wanted him and Kingston want to be on their cell phones all night talking to their little girlfriends. And I told him, give me your cell phone. He said, I need the phone. Hold on, is that the police? Hold up, baby. Oh, they ain't after me. Anyway, I told him, give me your cell phone. They said, I need my phone for the alarm to wake me up in the morning. His bus comes at 6.15. I think he came to my room about 6.20. Saying, I missed the bus. And I said, didn't you say you needed your cell phone for your alarm? Well, it didn't go off. So guess what? They both getting their cell phones taken today because it didn't do them no good for no alarm. So they don't need it tonight. Hmm. Got me up early in the morning, man. Gonna go get me some Shipley's Donuts. Hey, where y'all little rugrats at? Oh, y'all want to answer me? I'm right here. I got some donuts, but since y'all want to ignore me, y'all ain't getting no donuts. No, no, they're over there getting their candy. Coffee on oh, look, We haven't got to school yet. Wait, are you, you vlogging the whole time? Mmm, I didn't even know. You didn't even tell us. Should I go I wish I could take this to school. I'd just be vlogging all day. Boom. Now you got that time to be done. Yeah. 
You're trying to take one of your little friend, ain't you? Didn't I tell y'all last night, give me y'all phones, y'all gonna miss the bus? Uh, y'all gonna be up all night? Was Elijah up on his phone? No. Then why he missed the bus? I don't know. They were talking all night. And we were just like laughing. Yeah. <coughs> no, I was, you know what I was about to say too? Mm -hmm. What? I was about to say dad looks lighter than you. I don't know why. He's darker than you. I my know. skin is silky smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about? Oh my God. We're going to school. We'll see y'all in a bit. I love you. Okay. You ready? Now what you want me to do? All right. I'm going to hold the camera. I'm no, you're not. Back. Okay, so we have what? Two 10s right here. And then we have two 15s right there that we're going to add to this for you because I can only handle 20. What you want me to do? Some push ups. Show you how it's done. Well, really. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm good about ten push-ups, baby. Well, baby, you have to warm up by stretching. That's how I warm up. All right, well, I'm gonna stretch. Bicycles? Mm -hmm. What is a bicycle? Lay down. And then you go. Man. So you move your legs. Yeah. I'm already tired. <laughs> One more. I lost count. Go ahead, I'm gonna count for you. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 41, Y'all see me do some sit-ups? How many sit-ups y'all think I can do? Well, you're gonna do sets. Oh, I'm doing 10 push sit-ups. No, you have to do like 15 and then 15 and then 15. Nine. All the way down. 10. All right, I'm done. No, 13, 14, 15. Come on, you need five more. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Okay. Five. No. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more, baby. Eleven. Twelve. Come on, baby. You got it. Thirteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Fifteen. Keep five. Four. Hold on, man. You want my, one more set? Lay down. Lay down. Hell no. You, I'm done. You have to lay down. No. Lay down. You have you have 15 left, baby. I ain't gonna be able to do 15 Come more. Come on, try. Take your time. You don't this have is to, what I want. After your 15, when you <sighs> when you let your heart rate slow down, it's harder. Come on. You gave me them tacos. <laughs> Three, four, five. You gotta hold my feet down. <laughs> Five, come on, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five more. Five more. Four more. Twelve. Three more. Three more. Come on, baby. Thirteen. <laughs> Two more, baby. Fourteen. One more, baby, and you're done. I'm done.
it looks like he gave up on me. I gotta feed the baby. Who gonna feed the baby? <laughs> really, babe? I'm tired. <laughs> I got a bald belly. You barely did anything. I ain't gonna be able to do it, man. I ain't gonna be doing it like that, man. <laughs> I think it's so funny how we just worked out. Tell them what you want for breakfast. I want chorizo and eggs with some cheese on top. This is why I can never lose weight, and this is why I'm gaining weight. Because Lucky wants to be eating chorizo and egg tacos. You want avocado, Papa? We just got my morning workout in, my breakfast. This is the only time we get to have a peaceful meal is when the kids are at school and we have lunch or breakfast. Because once they come home and we eat, everybody rah, 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 rubbing, running their mouth and arguing and fighting. Shout out to all the parents that feel like they don't have time for themselves because they got kids. And you got one going to practice, one going to school, one going over here, one going over there. And you feel like you don't have no time for yourself. Well, I feel you. I used to be able to run wild through the streets. And now, I ain't got no time for myself no more. I dedicated about 20 years of my life to the streets. So I would rather spend the next 20 years of my life raising my kids and my family and being here. Cause I missed out on a lot of their first years growing up. My kids didn't live with me their whole life. They lived with my mama. My oldest son lived with his mom. They just barely started living with me like a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still learning how to be a parent. This is all new to me too. That's why I be getting so frustrated with them because I ain't used to being a parent. I'm used to being Lucky Lou, you know? But uh, I've already missed out on a lot of their years, so I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with them because they ain't gonna be little kids forever. That's why I ain't really ain't doing no more shows. <clears throat> it ain't enough money for me to be leaving my family and leaving my kids for a weekend for the little bit of money they trying to pay, you know? And you promoters don't promote anyway. All y'all do is make a little flyer and put it on Facebook and wanna charge about 10 local rappers $150 a piece to open up and then I gotta go sit there and watch 10 rappers open up like I'm at a damn talent show. And by the time I go on stage, everybody done left cause they sick and tired of standing on their feet watching about 10 rappers that can't rap who paid $150 to go on stage before Lucky Lou. You're so See, y'all can have all that. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to you, Houston. I'll bite your hand off. <laughs> Let me give y'all five steps for self-improvement. So we sat down and thought about five things that will be good for us to self-improve. And we came up with these. Thinking positive is number one. Think positive. Like I told you before, you got to turn your negative situations into opportunity. Number two, staying busy. Whenever you have too much time in your hands, I feel like you get distracted and start doing things that are not going to help you move on in life. Okay. So you got to stay busy like me, myself, like I don't got a regular job. So it's kind of easy for me to just not do shit and just lay in bed all day and watch TV. But I had to force myself to get up and do something positive and do something productive. Productive. I got to do something productive every day. So you got to stay busy, man. Okay. Number three, setting goals. Setting goals is really important. Uh, I know myself, I love to set goals throughout the whole year. And it feels good whenever you accomplish your goals. So um, setting goals is really important. Yeah, you got you to gotta follow through with them. And you can't just set them in your head. You got to write, actually write down your goals. Write down five goals, some short-term goals, some long-term goals, write them down and come through with them. Another thing that Lucky has taught me ever since we've met each other, he's taught me how to manifest things. When you speak things into existence, it actually works. Number four, put your cell phone down. 
people are always on their phones you don't get to enjoy the moment because you're on your phone look people, she got her phone in her hand right now but i'm reading the five so put your phone down and take a five minute walk without your phone because you keep looking at your phone and refreshing your instagram and doing all that you it's not good for you man we keep a board um with all the bills that are due when they're due how much they are and we make sure to tackle them all and then also under the calendar on the board we put goals so our goals for this month or our goals for the next three months that's another thing that y'all should do too is save 20 percent put it aside don't touch it save 20 percent if you can't save 20 percent you need to make some more money so you can save 20 percent even if you start at 10 percent because i know it's hard for him he does not like to put up money but i have to force him so ladies if your husband does not like to save money make sure that you are that rock standing right behind him and telling him like no you have to put it up you have to put it up because it's important for y'all to have money put up for anything any emergency but really and it's not just for emergency for a rainy day because when i feel like when you're saving money for a rainy day that damn rainy day gonna come <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> because that's just what happens because you're putting it in your head oh this money is an emergency in case shit happens well guess what some shit gonna happen so don't see it like that you gotta save it for like something you want to buy like an asset that's gonna make you some money you know what I'm saying? Investments. So those are our five steps of self-improvement that we're actually trying to tackle. And another one I think is say thank you more. Oh yeah. Make sure you say thank you when someone open up the door for you at the store. Even if you're like at a restaurant and a waitress comes with your drinks or your food. And fills also, up your drink and just, be, just because you know that's her job and she fills up your water. And I know a lot of times I don't say thank you because she just filled up the water. That's her job. But you got to say thank you, man. Put that good energy out and it's going to come back to you. We appreciate all y'all watching, man. Appreciate y'all checking in, liking, and subscribing, and doing all that, man. Shout out to Mario Castillo. And I want to give a shout out to Christy Michelle for tuning in and commenting. Already.